So guys, the word on the street is we've got an abscess. And I personally am obsessed with those. Right? Okay. Guys, am I right? Uh-oh, there he is, the man with the camera. What on earth? I have a doing. blade that's very sharp like that. That's so I know that I've got the sharp blade. Those are great for draining abscesses. Wait, you've got an abscess. Some gauze, some betadine, betadine swab. You're gonna get the sterilize it. Grab a little bit of alcohol. Hey, not on the job, swabs. Man. All right, I don't drink anymore. <laughs> anymore. Twenty years ago. Twenty years ago. Well, eighteen. Yeah, don't count your chickens. Right. Is this actually a legit abscess? Like, yeah. you're gonna get something out of this yeah. thing? Oh yeah. Oh, sweet. Hey, how you doing? So tell me, what are we seeing you for today? My ear. So when did this develop? That's perfect. Maybe a few weeks ago, a couple okay. weeks ago. Has it been getting bigger? Um, as far as I know, it got big and then just stayed. Stayed there? Okay. I don't remember that long. So folks who are watching, you can see what, when I test an abscess, I feel for softness and that's quite soft, which means it's ready for draining. If it's rock hard, all you'll get is blood when you try to drain an abscess that's hard as a rock. Dr. Paul here, we're gonna get a quick cutaway to tell you that this video is sponsored by Let's Get Checked. We're gonna get you right back to that abscess. There's more to see. This is a program that will allow you to get labs done in your own home. They send it to you, it's discreet, and then a doctor will review these labs, a nurse will get back to you. I've used this program for my own testing, and I just wanted you to have this opportunity. Parents, grandparents, you can actually now have control of your own health by testing the labs that matter most to you. There's a men's panel, a woman's panel, there's vitamin panels, definitely get your vitamin D checked, hormone levels if it, if it applies to you, and take advantage of this special service. We have a 20% discount using the discount code of DrPaul20, so you get 20% off the entire order, so order as much as you can with that first order and you're helping our channel. Thanks, I'm Dr. Paul, back to your abscess. So that one should be just perfect to drain, and Let's look at your other ear for comparison. All right, so yeah, kind of a big difference. That's how the ear is supposed to look. And, oh, actually, if you look from behind. Those of you who are watching at home, this isn't necessarily what you would do at home. Although if you were stuck on a desert island and had no access to healthcare, and you get an abscess, you, you drain it, right? If you, if you have to sterilize what you're gonna use if you don't have sterile uh, like needles or lancets. And so put a hot flame on something, then just drain it. If you drain an abscess, it's better. All right, betadine is great for sort of preparing wounds. Surgeons do this. They, they do multiple layers of betadine. Uh, it, this is not numbing, it's just sort of, yeah, creating a kind of a sterile field. Does that hurt? No. Okay. All right, you ready? Almost. Think so. Okay. Ready? Yeah, I guess so. Ouch. Sorry. You are so good at staying calm, buddy. Oof. You are so good at staying calm, buddy. Ooh. You are super tough. I'm gonna be like, oh wow. <laughs> oh wow. I'm gonna be excited to watch this. Yeah, I'm this, in. this will be exciting to watch. I probably wanna go on the other side. I don't know. Sorry. Hang in there, bud. Oof. So we got most of it drained out. Ow. It flowed Very beautifully. Tender. Sorry. Now it's tender. Tender now, yeah, because we're getting towards the base of it. Mm. Hang in there, bud. Hang in there. Mm. There's the last of it. You got this, bud. Okay. Now I'm gonna take my swab. Let me get new gloves. How you doing, Mom? You see all that? I'm glad you're sitting. <laughs> that came out of his ear, but it's gone yeah, way down. Now it's like almost nothing almost back there. Almost looks normal. 
just about just about done. So we're just going to actually just see if we can swab this from here. Oh. Sorry. That's about done. We'll take some off of here. You want to check that out? We're just getting some. That's plenty of yuck. Plenty of yuck. We're just going to stick it in here. Dr. Paul, you sure do make a mess. And we'll send that off to culture. All right. So, folks, you can see that that's gone way down. Really, just gonna get a little. I think I'm gonna go grab a little mupirocin to put on there. What's mupirocin? It's an antibiotic ointment. <laughs> uh, let's put that there. You already put the mupirocin on it? Not yet. Oh. I like the abscess did. It's just oozing out. Look at that. Isn't that cool? That is so cool. There you go, buddy. How long before I'll take this off, do you think? Oh, you can take it off anytime you want. A year, maybe. <laughs> if you feel like it and you want to put heat on that to just get the last bit of drainage out, mm -hmm. to, today when you get home would be the perfect time to do that because mm -hmm. it's going to close up mm -hmm. and we got a lot out. You'll see when you get to see this mm -hmm. video, it just kind of oozed and oozed and oozed and oozed. It's like amazing. Big thumbs up for this young man who was incredibly <laughs> brave. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Paul. Nice work, dude. Good, Good job. job.